Hello everyone. In today's video, I will explain a very important phenomena from the section of autonomic nervous system. And the phenomena is called as Dale's vasomotor reversal or vasomotor reversal of Dale. Before going to the topic itself, I will explain, I will tell you the meaning of each word. The Dale. Dale is the name of a scientist who explained this phenomena. Vasomotor. Vasomotor uh, is a phenomena uh, in the body through which there is a constriction of blood vessels. Constriction of blood vessel leading to increase total peripheral resistance and increase in the blood pressure. And there would be a reversal. Okay, getting back to normal. Now see, see what happens is this phenomena is seen with adrenaline. When we give adrenaline, we will see some sort of response, the biphasic response. And then we give alpha blocker then after giving alpha blocker again we will give the same dose of adrenaline and we will see the difference in the response there would be there would be only one phase there will not be increase in the blood pressure so the it combined it becomes Dale's vasomotor reversal or vasomotor reversal of day I'll explain the whole topic in details before jumping deep into it we should be knowing about adrenoceptors and the adrenergic drugs. What are the adrenoceptors? We have we have alpha adrenoceptor and beta adrenoceptor. There are subtype of alpha and subtype of beta also. So we have alpha 1 and alpha 2. And beta we have beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3. So for the time sake we will consider only alpha 1 and beta 2 because for this topic we need the receptors which are present in the blood vessels and from alpha we have alpha 1 and from beta we have beta 2 so we'll look at the drug drug is the given is the adrenaline first is adrenaline adrenaline or norepinephrine okay sorry adrenaline or epinephrine adrenaline so adrenaline act on which Drug, we'll see which receptor and then noradrenaline which will act on which receptors we'll see. See adrenaline act on all the alpha and all beta receptor. Alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2. Whereas noradrenaline act on alpha 1, alpha 2 and only beta 1. Okay. And there are specific action of these receptor. Alpha 1 present in the vessel, blood vessel, it will cause constriction. Constriction. Whereas beta 2, it will cause vasodilation. Similar is applicable over here also. But only thing is beta 2 is not present. So noradrenaline will not produce beta 2 stimulation which causes vasodilatation. The significance of this will tell you later on. So you can uh, you can just remember this phenomena by A B C D thing. A is for alpha, B is for beta. So alpha causes constriction, and beta causes dilatation. Okay, so this is A, B, C, D. A, B and C and D. Okay. So, the thing is when we give adrenaline, what happens? If you look at the graph which we get in the uh, laboratory animals, the graph is somewhat like this. Okay. Somewhat like this graph you will be getting the zigzag lines and this shows the effect of adrenaline. Adrenaline we are keeping it here. Adrenaline or epinephrine. Okay. So the thing is this is this is the basal blood pressure. Basal blood pressure. Say it is around 120 millimeter of Hg. So basal blood pressure and when you give adrenaline you will see there is a rise in blood pressure 
say it reaches around 180 millimeter of energy. Okay. And then when the concentration decreases of adrenaline, then after coming back to the normal base of blood pressure, it goes further below down and there is decrease in the blood pressure and then again it comes back to normal. This is a typical phenomena of adrenaline. adrenaline. And this is known as biphasic response. Biphasic response. Biphasic response. Now, do we need to draw the similar type of graph in your uh, copy or during your examination? No, you need not. You just uh, take the mean blood pressure and then you just draw the graph like this. Okay. So here you are giving adrenaline. Here you are giving adrenaline. So to understand this, I'll, I'll rub this off because we will be dealing with alpha 1 and beta 2. So I'll just remove this. Okay. Now the thing is, when we give adrenaline, there is first increase in the uh, response. Increase in the response, that means it will act on the alpha receptor and beta receptor, adenoceptor. But the effect which we will see is the increase in the blood pressure. And this increase in the blood pressure is mainly because of alpha 1 mediated vasoconstriction. Alpha 1 mediated vasoconstriction. And this response is mainly due to stimulation of beta 2 mediated vasodilation. So when there is vasoconstriction, there is increase in total peripheral resistance causing increase in the blood pressure. But whereas when the beta 2 is stimulated, beta 2 causes vasodilatation and that will result in decrease in total peripheral resistance leading to decrease in the blood pressure. Why it happens so? See, let's say you give 500 molecule of 500 molecule of adrenaline. Okay. And let's say that alpha receptors are more than if, if more than 200 alpha receptors are occupied, then only you will see the alpha action. Okay, so more than alpha, more than 200 of alpha 1 receptor when occupied, you will see the action because of alpha 1. That means when you give 500 uh, uh, molecule of adrenaline, adrenaline, it will occupy the alpha 1 receptor. It is more than 200. Okay, as well as it will occupy some of the beta 1, beta 2 receptor also. Okay. Whenever there is occupancy of any receptor by any drug, it is never absolute occupancy. It's relative occupancy. Some beta 2 will also be occupied. But the action produced will be because of alpha. Because alpha receptors are stronger in action. Stronger in action. Whereas beta, beta 2 receptor is sensitive receptor. Sensitive receptor. Which means even a small molecule, even in, even a small number of receptors, if it is occupied, it will give the action. But more number of alpha receptors should be occupied to give the action. And the action given by alpha is always very strong. So when, when, when all the alpha receptors or more than 200 alpha 1 receptors are occupied, it will give a stronger action. And because of a stronger action, the effect of beta 2 will not be seen. Only alpha 1 mediated action that is vasoconstriction we will see and we will see the sharp rise in blood pressure. Then here it reaches to the peak and then after that it starts declining because of the metabolism of the drug. It gets it starts declining. The concentration of the drug starts getting declined. So the receptor occupancy will also be decreased. Now as it reaches less than less than 200 less than 200 that means now it will be occupying the beta 2 receptor and as it reaches less than 200 now alpha action due to alpha receptor will not be that strong okay because you need more than 200 uh, occupancy to show the alpha action the moment it decreases less than 200 the action due to alpha will not predominate. Now, the effect due to beta 2 will predominate. 
and the effect of beta 2 will be unmasked as the receptor occupancy goes below 200 and then you will see that the, the, the action due to beta 2 that is vasodilatation will be clearly seen so that will cause the vasodilatation and decrease in the blood pressure now what happens in the second this is this is only about the effect of adrenaline so I will not draw this graph I will just only draw this one what happens when we give alpha blocker see you first you give adrenaline here increase in blood pressure then lower dose lower concentration by upper metabolism it comes back to normal and then it goes below because now not enough of uh, alpha receptors are occupied so you get the beta 2 unmasked and then effect due to beta 2 receptor is seen which is vasodilatation causing decrease in the blood pressure and then further metabolism causing very less molecule of uh, adrenaline to act on any of the receptor and you get normal thought. so this is alpha 1 this is mainly beta 2 when we give adrenaline here now the here if we give alpha blocker alpha blocker then what happens and then after that we give adrenaline here now presence of alpha blocker is there that means you are blocking all the alpha receptor so alpha mediated action you cannot see that is increase in the blood pressure okay alpha receptor are not free to get bound with the adrenaline so what action you will see you will see only beta 2 action and then beta 2 action will be more profound it is more prominent because there are more molecules which are available to bind with more number of beta 2 receptor and when the more number of beta 2 receptor is occupied you will get more of the vasodilatation and there is no alpha action so you will get, get exaggerated beta 2 mediated vasodilatation vasodilatation and this is called reversal this is called reversal you are reversing the action you are reversing the vasoconstriction by giving alpha blocker so that you will get only beta 2 receptor action which is vasodilatation and this is called the Bale's vasomotor reversal now I will explain the clinical significance of this phenomena see clinical significance is in pheochromocytoma pheochromocytoma and as we know that this is a, a tumor of adrenal gland and there can be two types the adrenaline producing tumor and the noradrenaline producing tumor so adrenaline producing tumor and noradrenaline producing tumor we will see which blocker should be given or should not be given so what happens if we give alpha blocker alpha blocker here only alpha blocker I am talking about so what happens is when we give alpha blocker then you are blocking this one you are blocking this one only alpha blocker so in case of adrenaline adrenaline will be able to bind on the beta 2 receptor causing vasodilatation sharp decrease in the blood pressure will occur and then patient may go into shock and difficult to revive so you should not give here noradrenaline producing tumor noradrenaline producing tumor nor nor adrenaline act on alpha receptor only no beta receptor but that you are blocking it okay so in this case you can give only alpha blocker next is beta blocker only beta blocker say only beta blocker can you give in this condition beta blocker in case of adrenaline producing tumor here you are blocking this one that means vasodilatation will not be there so increased vasoconstriction and increase in blood pressure will be still there because of alpha mediated action so you cannot give beta blocker you cannot give here also beta blocker though it does not act on beta receptor but alpha mediated action will be there so you cannot give beta blocker here so what should be given the best thing is alpha plus beta blocker alpha beta blocker how it will help in case of adrenaline producing tumor the alpha will take out of this increase 
uh, blood pressure because of alpha mediated vasoconstriction and beta will help in uh, blocking the shock blocking the vasodilatation and decrease in the blood pressure so you you can give here noradrenaline ke case mein you can give alpha plus beta blocker alpha blocker will take care of this beta blocker will take care of the tachycardia direct action on beta 1 receptor causing tachycardia so you can give alpha plus beta blocker in noradrenaline producing tumor so in short what is there you have to give alpha plus beta blocker in any kind of uh, any any kind of uh, few chromocytoma whether it's alpha uh, adrenaline producing tumor or not adrenaline producing tumor so this was all about Dale's vessel motor reversal thank you so much